Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. A coalition of 11 Republican senators announced Saturday that it will challenge the, challenge the outcome of the presidential election by voting to reject electors from some states when Congress meets next week to certify the Electoral College results that confirmed President-elect Joe Biden won. President Donald Trump's extraordinary refusal to accept his election defeat and the effort to subvert the will of the voters has become a defining moment for Republicans and is tearing the party apart. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has urged Republicans not to try to overturn the election. The 11 senators led by Ted Cruz of Texas said they will vote against certain state electors unless Congress appoints an electoral commission to immediately conduct an audit of the election results. They acknowledged they are unlikely to change the results of the election. We intend to vote on January 6 to reject the electors from disputed states as not regularly given and lawfully certified, the statutory requisites, unless and until that emergency 10-day audit is completed, they wrote in a statement. We do not take this action lightly, they said. In response to Trump's unfounded claims of voter fraud by partisan election officials and Trump's then Attorney General, William Barr, have said there was no evidence of widespread fraud and the election ran smoothly. The days ahead are expected to do little to change the outcome. Biden is set to be inaugurated January 20th after winning the Electoral College vote on 306 to 232. Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri was the first to defy McConnell by announcing he will join House Republicans in objecting to the state tallies during Wednesday's joint session of Congress. On the other side of the party's split, Senator Ben Sass of Nebraska warned such challenges are a dangerous ploy, threatening the nation's civic norms. The issue is forcing Republicans to make choices that will set the contours of the post-Trump era and an evolving GOP. Caught in the middle is Vice President Mike Pence, who faces growing pressure and a lawsuit from Trump's allies over his ceremonial role in presiding over the session on Wednesday. However, Trump has taken to his official Twitter account to disclose that on the 6th of January, huge evidence about the U.S. election will be revealed. This simply means that on the 6th, election fraud evidence will be revealed. If you have been following Trump's tweet closely, 
He has always been talking about the U.S. election fraud and keeps saying that he won. Massive amounts of evidence will be presented on the 6th. We won big, Trump had tweeted. Even as we are in the new year, we expect to see a lot of changes from some prominent people around the world. This is not in the case of the 45th President of the United States of America, Donald Trump. Though the U.S. general elections took place on the 3rd of November 2019, sorry, 2020, and the released result projected by reputable news sources like BBC, CNN, shows that Joe Biden, the Democrats' candidate, has been projected as the president-elect. Trump is yet to give up. It is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular new twist to this particular uh, issue? The United States is heavily brewed in huge controversy over who is the winner or who is indeed the winner of the election. Well, it is what it is. Who eventually will be the winner or who eventually is the winner of the election of the United States. It is said to be there's a last at attempt by Trump to present evidences or to show that there were certain frauds in some states and uh, to defend himself and uh, claim how he won the election. Well, it remains to be seen how things will eventually pan out. But be that as it were, when Congress, the Joint Congress will meet and sit on Wednesday, the 6th of January. It is expected to formally uh, conclude on the decision on who won the election and who the, pre the president-elect will be. Could there be any magic or any turnaround that will tilt or swing it to Trump? Well, to a very large extent, People are saying that there is little or nothing Trump can do or the Republican senators can do to change the outcome of the election. But however, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Just like the saying goes, never say never, you know. So there are possibilities that Trump might eventually, you know, still the show while some are saying that there is no such possibility but however we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story trump has been in a really really serious turmoil ever since joe biden was declared president-elect some who have some of his close allies who worked with him during the election had left him and while they said that there were no evidences that there was any widespread fraud in the election. But however, it remains to be seen if Trump will finally accept defeat or if he will be able to provide evidences that will show that he won the election and that there, were, there was huge or massive fraud according to his clips. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Do you agree with Donald Trump that he won the election and uh, but it was stolen from him? Well, drop by at the comment section and let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.